Hey, you know there's cycling tips that nobody talks about? Things are not always as they appear. So I'm here today to help you with three secret not spoken about cycling tips. And uh, let's get right into it. Tip number one. This is probably the most underrated tip on all of them. Turning around, looking behind you without swerving. This is super crucial as far as safety and awareness goes. There's two ways of turning the head backwards without swerving. First one would be basically relaxing your elbows and the opposite side of the way you're turning your head, that shoulder has to drop down and rotate a little bit. This will allow your head to turn without moving your hands and your handlebars. That way you can stay in a straight line and not weave into traffic. Being able to turn your head without weaving all over the place will give you more confidence and also it'll allow you to participate in traffic without being a liability. I mean, you can see what's coming from behind, who's next to you. If you can't have a mirror on your helmet or on your bars, that is the most crucial skill that we can teach yourself. The second way, my preferred way, is to start out with both hands closest to the stem. If you're turning to the left, take your left hand off the handlebar and let your whole upper body rotate with your head. This will also keep your handlebars from turning too much especially if you have that right hand closest to the stem. This is kind of what track racers do in Madison. When you swing somebody, you have it really close to the stem. If you have your hands too far away from the stem, you have too much leverage. The second not talked about cycling tip is how to get your chain back on without getting dirty hands. Ooh, just dropped the chain. Well, that stinks. Here's two chances of getting your chain back up without getting dirty hands. You gotta act quickly on the first one. While you're still rolling and coasting, you gotta downshift and soft pedal while upshifting. And if the chain is not wedged, it most likely will go back up. All right, well, if that didn't work, you have one more chance of getting the chain back on without getting dirty hands. Uh, you want to lift the bike with your neck by the seat. I know it sounds silly. Uh, grab one pedal, downshift, and then slowly soft pedal while up shifting the chain back onto a big chain ring. Uh, if your derailleur is adjusted properly, it should work. Uh, if it's wedged, you're going to have to touch it. But that's your last chance. And finally, the third not talked about cycling tip is group ride etiquette. Nobody talks about this. But if you do it once wrong, I bet you lose a lot of cycling friends and you might not get invited to that group ride again. So when you're in the front of the group, think of the guy in the back before you start throwing boogers and snot rockets. Because there's a guy in the back, yeah, he's not happy. So if you're in the front of the pack and you need to blow that booger or spit, you might wanna wait until you're in the back. Oh, here's a bonus one. That's not maybe a tip, that's just my opinion. The new bike that you wanna buy, is it worth it? The keeping up with the Joneses in the bike world is a real thing. And you might want to think about it twice. Is it really worth it? Will you ride more because of that bike? Maybe. But if you're losing sleep because you can't afford it, here's my top tip on what is the best bike for you. So your bike's old. It doesn't have the newest technologies. You don't want to ride it. The choices are endless. What is the best bike for you? Disc brakes. Rim brakes. Brake lever shifter. Down tube shifter, electronic shifting. So the best bike for you is the one you already own. This video is sponsored by nobody in the bike industry. And remember, friends don't let friends buy bikes on credit. So listen, I make videos like this once in a while. It's free of charge. I would appreciate a like or subscribe and I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Ow! What the f-